Fuck it. I think we just park it here. And we just... It should be at the edge. What? Just finished, brother. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Wow, that was so clutch of him, though. Holy fuck. Look at that guy. <laughs> what the fuck? Did you see the movement? That was actually insane. On blue mark. He only had a pistol. He's probably going up and reviving his friend. I broke that one. Oh shit, dude. Thanks, bro. <laughs> oh, behind as well. On the top two. Okay. Nice game. Let's hope that is not good. <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. Oh, it's just one of those days, dude. It's just one of those days, man. I don't even know how that's possible, dude. How is that even possible, man? And how did I not run him over? Like, uh, uh, there's just so many questions, dude. So I remember when I started with Warzone, I thought vehicles were so broken. They had insane kill range, so they barely had to touch you to kill you. Super arcade and easy to drive. And I felt like there was no way to counter them. Then of course, I played a little bit more and I discovered the C4 and the RPG. So it got way easier. But one time I had my C4 and RPG though, and a car came and I tossed the C4 and it did not explode and kill him. And he just ran me over. I later learned that the trophy system was a thing. Okay, it didn't really happen like that though, but, but it might have happened to maybe one of you guys like that. So I thought in this video, I would give you some quick tips on how to deal with vehicles that even have a trophy system on it, because you can actually deal with it. So if the vehicle doesn't have a trophy system, it's really easy. Easiest way to deal with it is just to have a C4, toss it close to the vehicle, and you should get the kill pretty easily since the radius of C4 is just crazy if they have a cargo truck though you need two explosives to destroy it all the other vehicles are one shot if they have a trophy system however the trophy system can actually disarm three explosive before it gets destroyed and the way the trophy system works is that it's based on the hp so if you shoot down the trophy system in hp it might lose one two or even three and get fully destroyed so basically every time it disarms it will lose some hp as well so that's something you can keep in mind. And something a lot of people don't know is that the trophy system only destroys explosive that are in the line of sight for it. Basically, it can only disarm what it sees. So the placement of the trophy system is super important. So I try to put my trophy system on top of the roof close to the middle so it can cover most of it. I think the most important place to cover though is the front if you have to shoot. Some of the cars, you can have really good placements. Other, it's a bit harder. And especially when it comes to the helicopter, I just put it in front of it. Even if you have placed a perfect trophy system, it does have a weakness though. If you toss a C4 or shoot an RPG on the ground, the trophy won't be in line of sight most of the time and it should net you an easy kill. Especially if you use a C4 and you toss it on the ground pretty early. Anyway, that's just some quick tips I wanted to share that I learned over my playthrough playing in Warzone. I will leave it now with some gameplay though, and I hope you guys found this video useful. And if you are interested in more Warzone videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And enjoy the gameplay, and see you guys in the next one. Yeah, I stunned myself. Coming back back from jail, dude. There's a guy here. He's on me. Oh, I knocked him with the car, dude. <laughs> 
I barely moved it a feet. Cracked. He's one hit. Dude, I think I karma that guy. Dude, that was probably the guy that ran me over. <laughs> it's been so late. Did he actually go up there? Does he not know I'm on top of him? <laughs> Does he know? He's still there, you see? <laughs> you think he sees me? How do you emote in this game? He's still chilling there, dude. I'm not gonna move until he moves. How do you do emotes? What is the bind? He's still sitting there. You gotta see my shadow, right? What? What do you mean in inactivity, dude? Come on, what? I didn't even know, really? Really? I did not know. What the fuck? How does that happen? I wonder if he got kicked too. How? That must be an early thing game, right? That doesn't make sense. Why doesn't all the campers get uh, kicked for in inact inactivity then? Yeah. That was the last match. Ah, uh, fucking... We played, I don't know, for like a, maybe two, three hours? I don't know, maybe less. I think we got a few second places, if I'm not mistaken. The fuck, where's this man do? <laughs> <laughs> you, you think I would do good in a GTA 5 race or... Look at this. I don't know, Whoa. we gotta see, bro. Saturday. Get Yo, smoked. Get Yo, get a second quad. Oh, yeah, yeah, go. Okay, let's get one. Let's race, dude. Whoever wins gets a gift to sub from you, dude. Yo, oh, you might. Alright, you gotta be tier 3, though, dog. <laughs> yeah, get that I'm one. Smoke with, dog. Hey, for three of y'all. Okay, so we start here, yeah? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, that, that's toxic, dude. Hey. Right, Referee? Full, full dude, cycle, that's not right? toxic. Yeah, okay. So, right, how do we ready? start? You, you call it one. You call it 3, 2, 1, go. Three, two, one, go. Oh no, he had practice, dog. <laughs> we look at the drifting boy. Oh, no. oh, shit. Oh, okay, no. three laps, three laps, three laps, three laps, All two right, more. Let's go. That's one. Ooh. Oh, this man oh. cheating, bro. Oh, one more lap, dude. I get your ass right here, yo. Ah, oh, what the fuck? How, bro? Easy, dude. Down, dog. Tier three for wins, bro. Rip. <laughs> I mean, I guess we can guess where he's at, right? He's in that building. That's usually where people lose. Chill. Yeah. Where else, dude? Is he running out? Wait, that was plates. I'm like focusing so little, I didn't even know. I thought I had an ammo box. It was an armor box. Freaking hide and seek, boy. And 14 hits like a wet, wet noodle, dude.
I hate having zero armor plates. Oh my god, can somebody new call the house? What's there? They need to add like destruction in this game. It's a bit risky. I want to pick up restock first, though, even though I feel like Arpit is so strong in solo. <laughs> okay. Not gonna lie, I missed my, my heartbeat already. Thing is, I don't want to depend on heartbeat though. Hey, bro, 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 bro. Fire cell, it's like you get a free self revive. It's like 60 or 70% off or 75% off the price. It's just nuts. How much is that? Everything except loadout is like super cheap. Okay, now everybody pops up, man. Kind of sucks to be here without a sniper. Shit. Because I don't want to go to the right, because that's downtown. He seemed really patient though. Like I don't think it will hit. That was bad. <laughs> I wanted to mark him, man. You should have just gone for it. Like that's how I done. So used to playing quads, you know. So it's like more worth to get the mark for a team. I mean, he's actually safe in there. If I was him, though, I'd probably sit in corner there, yeah? And if I was him, I wouldn't even be in there, so I guess I can't think like that. But if I was a solo Warzone player, I would sit in a corner, probably there. I would push, but since it's the last game, like, you chill it out. I mean, he have to move at some point, yeah? That's 8k if I kill him, though. Wait, that was not the guy? Oh, holy shit, dude. I don't even have Streamlabs up, dude. But I appreciate the donation, man. But I couldn't see it. <laughs> Shake it up the match, okay? Appreciate it though. I didn't really listen either, so I don't know what she said. I what? Oh, there. No. Have a few beers at the weekend. Hey, that sounds nice. Yeah, Friday I'm gonna take a day off. Because it's midsummer, right? And then Saturday as well, I guess, because I'm probably gonna be pretty slow that day. Oh shit, only 10 people left? <laughs> I'm like so not focused. Okay, well, maybe we should try to win this, yeah. Do we have self revive? We do. Did he die?
I almost messed that up. I feel like my position just suck, man. I assume left is clear, which means I should probably go left. Don't give like a bad circle. All the houses, bro. I think somebody's like there. Jesus, bro. Think he killed him? I didn't think he would be prepared, man. There's just no way this guy survived. Okay, we're pretty good here, actually. Oh, this is really good. I want both kills, but I should let them fight. There's no way I can throw this. I guess, dude. Not that many kills though, but we finished with a win at least. So this was the last match. And I tried to play it smart in the end game, right? I got the two kills anyway, because I've been watching some, some videos I made. Especially solo gameplay. And I play so freaking dumb and greedy, even when there's like only two guys left with me. I take so dumb fights just because they want all the kills. And it's not worth it. Now this was not M4, it was Galil. It is a really good gun. So this is the version I play now, but I've been playing this setup here. It's way faster, like TAC laser. And uh, this stock right here, it's the skeleton stock. Look uh, on other guns, it's actually insanely good. It gives you as much ADS speed as uh, TAC laser. Which, like, skeleton stock is usually trash, but this one on this gun is really good. Plus aiming, walking, movement speed. Got the fastest time to kill out of any AR or SMGs. It's basically like an AK, but on steroids, basically. But I play no stock. I've been thinking maybe I should swap that. But I like the movement speed, but I think it's just better to not run that. Like, I could go maybe... Like the reason I go no stock, the faster it is, the movement speed. And also like when you're just running randomly, you want to have the SMG out to so like run faster. 